Good morning everyone, I'm here at Trendway Builders and they invited me to take a look at their Nano Coat technology. This is basically like the, the modern alternative and improvement over tints, um, especially with buildings that want to control the thermals, um, you know, the sun coming through and heating up the building. So they've actually got a test here um, and I think we should just jump straight into that. If you look inside here, they have a high powered bulb, which is of course going to give off heat. And they've got three different panels. They've got the Nano Coated one, they've got a normal glass one, and and then a tinted version. The idea is that you can put your hand here and this is a, you know, a physical, literal demonstration of the heat. Um, so yeah, let's turn it on and actually see how well this works. I'm very excited because we've not tested it yet. I'm here with Edmund, he was kind enough to invite me. Um, so yeah, I really want to see this in action. So I'm gonna turn this on now. Okay. Ooh, I can already feel the heat instantly. That's very hot. Okay, that's a little bit cooler, but it's still, yeah, it's still very, very hot. Minimal difference. Okay, that's pretty impressive. I can, there's still some heat, but it's, it's much less than the other one. Can we go back again? Yeah, for the uncoated one. Okay, that's very, very, very hot. That's against the... Yeah, I mean, you can, you can tell the difference immediately between those two. Let's go to the tint. Yeah, again, I mean, this isn't that much. It does help a little bit, but not much. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely tell the difference actually that's very impressive um like i said earlier uh, because edmund was saying well did you read the documentation i said yes i did but seeing is believing actually i'm a little bit blind from the light right now but seeing is believing and actually you can feel a big difference between the nano coat and the regular glass and the tint so it's actually very very impressive and sorry edmund i know what you said about not being on camera um but How's the pricing of this? Because that's one of the concerns for me. How does the pricing of Nano Coat compare to a traditional tint? Um, in the market, uh, we are at least 50% uh, more economical uh, compared to the other leading brands of the, the tint. So it makes us a very pretty uh, 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 attractive alternative to the existing uh, system of thermal control. So I was actually expecting that you'd be more expensive, but compared to the, the high-end tints or the, the traditional tints that people are using in buildings right now, you're actually cheaper. Yes, we are, we are. Uh, this is something to do with the way we apply the nanocode. Uh, as uh, earlier we were discussing about what is done, uh, the, the technique that we use is called curtain painting. So it's essentially, we just let it flow down, cascading. Right. So that gives you a very even uh, uh, workmanship. But the trick there, the secret there is the excess, the over, the, all the, the those that overflow, we can recover it okay. and reprocess okay. and Excellent. use it just like new. Excellent. So uh, instead of keeping the, the savings, we actually share with our clients. Right. So, so that's how you keep costs down. Yes, that's how we Excellent. keep our costs down. And you have some documentation up on the wall here um, that you've obviously made bigger for people to see. This is the one that I really like actually. This is with LaSalle University and they've, they've done tests, right? Comparing no glass to normal glass to tint and then nano coat. So for example, here we've got temperatures. So this is a scientific test already. This isn't just me putting my hand in front of a piece yes. of glass. This is, you know, properly done uh, in laboratory conditions. So this is your nano coat here. So they're showing around, say, 27 degrees Celsius get, getting through the glass, is that right? Yes, it is. And if we compare that to normal glass, which is this blue line here, we're getting anywhere between, say, just over 29 to, well, maybe 30, 31 degrees Celsius. Yes. Um, and then, of course, tint is here, which, I mean, when you look at it here, it may only be, say, one, two, three degrees. But when you're talking about air conditioning savings, that could actually be substantial, right? Because that's one of the benefits of your product is that people can save money on their air con. Yes. Because the building isn't getting so hot. Yes. Actually, I have clients who eventually become my friends. And they were telling me, like, one, this one particular guy, he runs a car showroom and he uses six... Uh, package type air conditioning units and I assume that's always in full blast and still not attaining they're not getting the temperature that they want uh, after we did the nano code in their showroom according to him they're just using three or four air conditioning units 
Wow, so yeah. it, it really does work. I mean, yeah. I can believe it because we've just got a small sample here and I can already feel a big difference between the heat. So if the sun is coming into your building and some buildings have a lot of glass on the side, it could make a huge difference, even just one or two degrees savings. Like, that's significant for calling a big building. Um, um, we, can, we can bring down temperature by around three or four degrees Celsius, wow. uh, sometimes five. So, as you said, you're right. One or two degrees is quite significant already, but we can, we can easily, easily do three or four degrees Celsius, and that's quite significant. Very impressive. Although, the only thing is, to be fair, I don't know who this tint came from. So, if I was to do this test, I would like to compare it against various different ones, Vcool, 3M, and the generics. So, it is a very impressive test, um, but of course, to be fair, I don't personally know who this tin came from. But, I mean, it really does appear to work. I have to admit, I, I had my doubts about exactly how well it would work. Another thing is your glass is very clear. So I guess that's a big selling point if you want the glass to be transparent. All right, all right. Um, you said there's a small blue tint. Can we take a look? Um, can we take the glass out and take a closer look on camera? Okay, thank you. I won't drop it. Okay. So you can see, you mentioned earlier that there's a slight blue tinge to it, but honestly, it's very hard to notice the difference. It's, it's oh yeah, I mean on camera actually, you, you can see the slight blue tinge. Yes. But it's essentially very, very, very true beautiful. to the original, to the original glass. Very impressive. If you don't people, if you don't tell people, they don't even notice it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I could be convinced that that's just a regular glass panel. Very impressive. So it doesn't change, for example, if you're doing a retail store, it doesn't change the color of your products because, uh, it, it, uh, because of the, uh, well, because it's colorless. But you're only doing this for buildings. This isn't something that you could transition into vehicles with? Um, we are talking to some vehicle uh, companies, particularly the tourist bus people. Right, okay. Because they have these large, big glass panels, so it, it helps them also. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Yes. But right now, it's not happening, but maybe in the future. We do, yes, yes, yes. Well, we do a lot, mostly we do a lot of the architectural products. And most recently, I have people coming here buying this and applying it on solar panels. Really? Yes, solar panels. That's interesting. So at first they got a few, a few, uh, few products. Yeah. And they tried it, and then they come back after three weeks, and I thought, well, what are these guys doing? And then they come back another three weeks, and they buy more. Interesting, so because it, probably it means that it's working. The, the the thing with solar panels is that as they start to heat up, they lose their efficiency. Right. Um, but I'm, I, that's very interesting to hear that they can apply it to the glass, still let through what they need, yes. but reject the heat. Yes. Very when interesting. You say, when you say solar panels, photovoltaic. Yeah. So it needs photo, it needs light, but they yeah. don't like the heat. Yeah. So exactly this is what it's doing. Wow, that's interesting. I would love to <laughs> try that as a test sometime. That's yeah. very interesting. Yes. Can we do this one more time just for fun? Okay. So you do it from a very start? Yeah, let's start with the normal glass. Okay. Maybe this time you don't look at the light, so you don't. Yeah, that's it. true. That's true. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So it's a normal one, and then a tinted one. Okay, slightly cooler, but not much. Significantly cooler there. There's still heat. Um, you know, you can feel something, but it's it's much less. Let's go to the normal. Yeah, I mean that's that's so hot that you can only just about hold your hand there. But with this, in fact, what if I touch the glass? Okay, oh. that's touchable. I'm guessing the normal one is going to be... Well, okay. actually, uh, the, the coated glass, the coated, uh, coated glass becomes warmer. It becomes warmer? Yes, because it captures the heat. Interesting. It captures the heat. What, is, what matters is after the glass. It doesn't right. get in. So, heat has to go somewhere. Yeah. It's now that's very interesting. Yes, That's yes. very interesting. So I was just asking Edmund if there's some way that we can show this on camera without it just being my hand. And he has this device. What's this called again? Uh, it's called the Window Energy Profiler. Okay. Or some people call it a spectrometer. And what does it do? How does it work? So the spectrometer, you have, you can see that there's an open-ended here. Yeah. So you can put a glass here in between to measure the penetration because from here on the left side you have the one that is releasing the wavelength okay. and on the right side is the, rele the, the receiving of the wavelength. Okay. So when you block something it's supposed to uh, give a lower reading. Okay. So what this does is it measures the UV or ultraviolet uh, rays, yep. the visible light 
and the infrared. Okay. And it does its own computation to give you an S HGC or solar heat gain coefficient. Okay. Which means the amount of uh, uh, penetration of heat that it gives. Okay. Very clever device. So can we try it out? Okay. So we've just turned it on now and it's showing 100% for everything. If I block that with my hand, oh look, you can see it's actually real time and it's adjusting it. Okay. So we can take the normal glass first. Let's put that there and see what the results are. So we have 59% UV, 84% visible, 71 infrared, and then an SHGC of 0.83. Okay, so now let's try the nano-coated panel. So what do we have here? 18% UV, so that's significantly lower. 73% visible, so that makes sense because we can see through it very easily. 49% uh, infrared, 0.61, SHGC. So we were able to see a significant difference there between the normal glass yes. and the nano coat using this. Yes. Very, very clever. Interesting. Thank you. So I just got back now. I actually spent about two and a half or three hours talking to them about their technology. And honestly, it sounds too good to be true, but they've proven it, um, not just with demonstrations, but also with their testing with the various different agencies. So it's really impressive. And actually, look, I have my own sample piece of glass that's been coated with their nano coat so I can actually do my own tests in future videos so I'm really looking forward to that also so if you have any questions which I'm sure you do please put them in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up thanks for watching